In today's video, I'm going to show you the right way to use the dialog leveler in DaVinci Resolve. Now, a lot of people have been asking me, how does this effect work? And in this video, I'm going to explain it all. So there's two ways of using the dialog leveler. You can either use it in the edit page or in the Fairlight page. But for today's exercise, I'm just going to focus on the edit page. The Fairlight page works very similar. So if you can do it in the edit page, you'll also be able to do it in the Fairlight page. And afterwards, I'm going to share a couple of tips to get the best result when using the dialog leveler. So stay tuned. All right, so we're looking at using the dialog leveler from the edit page today. And on my timeline, you'll see that I've got a clip here that I pre recorded uh, with high levels and soft levels in between. So let's play it and see what it sounds like. This is a sample video where I'm going to speak softly and I'm going to speak loudly. All right. So there you've got it. Uh, like you can see, there's some very soft parts and very loud parts. So in order to use the dialog leveler, what you need to do is make sure that your clip is selected. Once your clip is selected, you can go up to the top right and make sure that the inspector window is open. If it's not open, you can either select the inspector there or you can just press shift four and that should open the inspector window. So once that you open the inspector window, make sure that you select the audio tab. So you can just look for these audio notes. And once you click that, the audio options will appear. Now that you've got all your audio options, you can see that you've got your dialogue leveler tab over here. And you'll notice that there's no options. What you need to do is you need to actually first enable dialogue leveler to see all the options. Now, if you don't see dialogue leveler under your audio options, that might be because you are either in a surround sound track. Now, Dialog Leveler unfortunately only works with either mono or stereo. And you can look at this number on your track to see whether your track is a mono or a stereo track. If it says two, it means stereo. If it means one, it's mono. And if it's a number more than two, then it's a surround sound track. So 5.0 or 5.1. Unfortunately, it doesn't work with surround sound. So this is a stereo track, so that's fine. And here in the dialog leveler track, there are multiple options. So the mode options goes from uh, least processed to most processed. So allow wider dynamics means that it doesn't affect the audio too much. It might uh, lift the lows a little bit and drop the um, loud parts a little bit as well, but it's for more natural sounding audio, this part. And I would recommend this option for most uh, audio levels, unless there's a big difference between the loud and the soft parts, like the audio I've got here. But generally, you would want to use optimized moderate levels. Now, next one, more lift for low levels. And then you've got lift soft whispery sources. And that is what I want to select. I want to, um, I want it to process a lot because I want these soft parts to be much louder and these loud parts to be softer so that the audio is consistent right through. Now let's look at these options, reduce loud dialogue that we definitely want selected because if it boosts the audio, it also needs to reduce the loud dialogue and then lift soft dialogue. So that is definitely what we want. Now with the background reduction, you need to be very careful and only select it when it's really necessary. I usually like to use the voice isolation with the dialogue leveler because the voice isolation works really well. So I would rather um, deselect the background reduction and just enable voice isolation. Now just note that voice isolation is only available with the studio version, not the free version. All right, and then lastly, the output gain. So once your audio is leveled, it might um, be normalized to about minus seven or so. So you want to increase the output gain to just uh, pick up the levels um, in your project. So let's play it back and see what this sounds like. This is a sample video 
way I'm going to speak softly and I'm going to speak loudly. It is sounding much better. So, I mean, it's not exactly the same level as the loud parts, but because I was whispering, you kind of still want that effect, but you want to be able to hear what I say in those parts. So for me, this is perfect. Now, after you've applied all the effects, what I would recommend is to create a bounce effect of this audio, just to release some processing power for the rest of your project. So what you need to do is just select your audio, go to the dialog leveler under these customized settings, um, you can click that, uh, a dialog box will appear and you can click these three dots on the right uh, top corner here and once you click that you can say bounce audio effect. Once you click that it's going to render out a bounced effect and you can know that it is a bounced audio render with this extension um, lower dash bounced and you could also see that it um, now has a new waveform to show the increase in audio level so if I undo we can see how that level re uh, reduces and when I redo you can see how that lower levels has increased now let's look at some tips to get the best results. Now obviously, like I mentioned, you want to be in a mono or stereo track. Uh, unfortunately, the dialogue leveler doesn't work with surround audio, so make sure that your audio is either mono or stereo. Next, you can get some really nice result by mixing it with other effects like the voice isolation. Next, instead of adding gain to the dialogue leveler, what you could do is also just normalize the audio after you've bounced the audio. That will also just increase your levels to uh, the loudest part without clipping. And the last tip is test the dialogue leveler on a small piece of audio before you apply it to a large piece of audio. That way you can reduce a lot of errors. So guys, I hope that you found this video helpful. Check out this channel for more great tutorials. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.